For this tutorial, I wrote bad code, so you don't have to write it yourself. In the upper part of the screen, you can see that I implemented the error interface and created my own custom error. It has a field code of type integer. In the lower part of the screen, you can see that I created a function that returns an error. I'm using the error f function to wrap my custom error. In the middle of the screen, my code gets really bad. I'm trying to perform different actions for different codes of my custom error. You can see that the code actually works, but it is still pretty bad. This is because I used the whole error message to detect which code my custom error contains. If I wanted to change something, let's say the error message, I had to change every case of the switch statement. This is really bad. So why did I do it that way? Since my function only returns the error interface, as it should, Go does not know the actual type of the error. Therefore, I cannot access the code field of my custom error. As you can see, I'm trying to solve this problem by making a so-called type assertion. This is very similar to casting in other languages. I'm telling Go that the underlying type of the error will in fact be of type custom error. And I'm assigning the target error variable to it. Therefore, I can now access the code field of the target error because it is of type custom error now. I'm changing every switch case to the respective error code. For me, the switch statement looks much better now. To say it in advance, it will not work that way. As you will see, Go tells me that the error that the function returned is actually not of type custom error. Instead, it is an error that has my custom error wrapped inside of it. Luckily, the Go standard library provides the errors as function. This function has two arguments. The second argument is the target error. In this case, my custom error. The first argument is the error I want to check. Here, the error that the function returned. The errors as function will convert the error to the specific target error if the target error is wrapped inside of it. As you can tell from the yellow squiggly line, the compiler is not yet happy with my code. That's because the second argument of the function actually has to be a pointer. Therefore, I'm changing the target error variable to be of type pointer to a custom error by using the ampers and reference operator. Now it works. I'm getting the right output for the error code of my custom error. Besides converting an error to a specific target error, the errors as function also returns a boolean. It indicates if the specific error that I'm looking for is indeed wrapped inside of the error that I'm checking. Therefore, I just included my switch statement inside of an if statement. In a real example, an error might have wrapped different errors inside of it. So it always makes sense to check if the error indeed can be converted to the specific target error. As you can see, I can now change the string of any error message and the code will work just fine without changing anything else. Please consider liking the video if you have learned something.